What's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the Xbox One. I'm going to install a SSD drive to speed up those load times. If you're still playing yours, then it's a well deserved upgrade. Want to learn how? Stick around. so here it is this thing has been sitting on the shelf for 10 years and I've never cleaned it <laughs> I don't I mean I wiped it down a couple times but that is it so I'm gonna have to open this up and clean it before I even do the hard drive but it's in really good shape like I said it's been sitting in a cubby hole for 10 years crazy that it's been 10 years already what's weird is you would think on a big old unit like this that you would you know take the screws out from the feet on all four corners but that is not the case so start on this side where the USB is on the side You can use a screwdriver, but I, I would recommend using some type of plastic tools if possible. But the screwdriver will do it though. Um, or guitar pick or credit card cut up in the shape of a guitar pick, something like that. That might help out. So I've never even actually, actually opened one of these, so let's hope for the best. Okay, well, so far so good. Just kind of giving it a wiggle. All right, you know what? This reminds me of uh, the 360 kind of. It's getting a little harder up here. Clips were damaged. Yay me. And then there's this piece. Okay, so it takes a little force, but it slides out of there. Okay, we're getting down into the guts almost. And you would think you'd go to the other side. I don't think that's how this works. I think. Bear with me, guys. I gotta get this open. So. Yeah. Okay. So we got some kind of start here. Where are we going? The back? Looks like we're going to the back. Just like guys, I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, as you can see, the Xbox sticker kind of just broke free. That's actually kind of a bonus, right? <laughs> Awesome on the Xbox sticker right there. Let's see. Okay, sounds like we got one. There we go. <laughs> it's like a big clip. Trying not to break any of them. That was a scary one, but I got it. I don't know why it was giving me such a hard time. Let's 
So here is the cable that everyone is talking about and it's so dangerous. I'm kind of putting a little bit too much oomph on it as is. Looks like I'm taking it out. Well, if you guys can see that. There it goes. So that's going to be really hard. Mm. It's going to be a tough one. All right. We got it, though, I think. I can pull the top off now, I believe. All right. And there it is. Doesn't look like anything got damaged. Yay. But it is dirty. Not bad, though, for 10 years. It's not bad. Not bad. All right, so, hmm. Yeah, you can see there isn't much holding this thing on. Oh, yeah. Got to get the bottom off. Take out some screws to do that. Let's take off the speaker. Looks just like a laptop antenna cord. So it looks like we gotta take these two out. All right, that should just pull out, I think. It was in there really, really, really good. It's kind of scary, actually. <laughs> Come here. All right. Well, that's a loose piece. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're just going to have to take every screw on sight out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm not sure about this one, but probably nine, ten. There's eleven there, too. So let's take out the big ones first. Now we might be able to pull this card out. I'm hoping that pops. There we go. Maybe I can get this out. Ta da! Right there. Put that to the side. Okie day. Let's pull the top off. Be careful. Let's see what if anything is sticking. Here, hopefully, you guys can see that. I'm just gonna pull that cord out there in the corner. Oh, man, that sucker was in there, too. All right, so we are down to the hard drive, and that's where we want to be. That was kind of a lot of work. So, all right, let's see. I think. Suckers in there, and then wow, we did not play putting that one in. I'll go ahead and just pull that off the board for right now. All right, so let's get these screws out first, then. And that looks a little loose. Let's see. 
There we go. All right. Now our hard drive is loose. It still has a little tray for it to go on. So let's not get confused. I'll just set it back in there where it was. But it has another little tray right here. So we gotta take that off also. So now we can take the drive off. And here's our drive. Now this comes off nice and easy. So there it is. And here's what you get. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's nothing special. 500 gig. Doesn't even tell you the RPMs, I don't think. 52 probably. Well, anyways, it's not going to be as fast as that SSD we're about to put in here. So now we have to take all the files in here and transfer them over to an SSD. Let's jump into that. All right, back at the table here. We've got our hard drives hooked up. So you're going to need a 500 gigabyte hard drive. You can't get a 480 or a 512 or something just odd number it has to be a 500 gigabyte hard drive for this to work now you can upgrade your xbox hard drive i think up to two terabytes if you do it a different way um, through the usb offline method but this way we're doing a bit for bit clone of the hard drive that way you don't have to set nothing up you just got to turn it on and it works no updating, downloading a bunch of games, resetting your box and all that. It's just there, ready to go. So that's why I'm going to try this. Here's the Xbox original drive. Here's where it's going, to the SSD. So I got it powered with this power supply for hard drives and CD-ROMs. Going into my PC's motherboard. There's about 100 different ways you can hook this up. This is the one I chose. You guys will probably use like USB 3.0 or something like that. So, however you do it, make sure the power is on before you turn on the PC. So let's turn on the PC. All right, back at the desktop. First thing, open up a web browser. I'll leave a link in the description below for a hard drive raw copy tool. Scroll down. And I'm going to get the portable version. Works without installation. And we're done with the internet. And here's our hard drive raw copy tool. Let's open that up. And if this pops up, I mean, it's just... It's hard drive rock copy tool. They just don't know what it is apparently, so run anyway. Yes. Agree. And here it is. Now we can get rid of that window and here is hard drive rock copy tool. So I got a lot of 500 gig drives on here. So let's see. This is my six terabyte, this is my Linux drive, and this is the Samsung Evo. This is C, so I know that's not it. So it's these bottom two. Here's the Samsung, and here's the original drive. Okay, so it's asking for the source. As you can see, they're the same size, and that, I think that's the problem with the uh, people not actually getting this to work is that they get different sizes just get a 500 and it should work um, but please select source or source being the hard drive of the Xbox the original click that that's what this is right here for me hit continue 
And please select Target. And Target being the Samsung for me. The SSD. So we have selected our Target. Hit Continue. And hit Start. So it's just saying it's going to wipe your SSD. Click Yes. You know, make sure you got those drives right though before you hit yes because it will overwrite something important. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that drive, but that drive is just not sounding good. Sounds like it's about to die actually. So it actually failed to mount it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start again and try to mount it again. Alright, you could tell it had a rough time, but it locked the device and it seems to be working pretty good. So, this is the part that takes a while. So, probably around two hours, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. So, I'll fast forward and see you in a few. Alright, looks like it just finished. Uh, it took under two hours, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. Everything seemed to go real good, but at the beginning, it failed to lock the device. So I tried again, hit start, and then it locked the device. So if this happens to you, just hit start again, and it will lock the device and start copying the files over. All right, so we're all set. Let's shut down the cloning software and shut down the PC. Alright, so now we can unhook the SSDs. I'm going to power this down. PC's already shut off. Can unhook the power. And here is our new SSD with the cloned image on it. And here is our old drive. This drive was not in great shape. You could hear it. It did not sound good. I'm glad that it cloned. Let's hope that it boots up. Hopefully yours is in better shape than this. I don't even know if I want to use this for like old storage or anything. But let's take our SSD and put it in our Xbox One. All right, now we have to put it all back together. So here is our SSD. First thing you're going to want to do is put that back on. Your SATA connector first because it has these two dots and they lock in with these two holes. And then you put the screws in. I think it's a Torx 10. ridiculous amount of screws for the hard drive is done. Let's pull out the Xbox One. All right, got it all clean. Looks pretty good, ain't perfect, but I'll take it. So let's put our drive bay back in. Plug in the SATA cable and your power. Well, it even looks nicer in there, right? <laughs> All right, let's get the top. All right, first, we gotta hook the cable up in the corner. And it kind of sets in this. This top just kind of 
sets in. There's like a foam ring all the way around it. It's kind of weird. It works. So let's put our screws back in. This is a torque eight for these two. Just seems like it's kind of far away. Hmm. Connect our little cable back up. Sometimes these are a pain. There we go. Alright. So now we gotta worry about well, we can put this little guy on here. So this is all the fuss, is this cable right here, getting that cable back in there. And I think what I want to do is put the cable in while this is off there, and then push it into the board. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> in there push up push down on this lock mechanism once you think it's in there good snap that blue line I don't know what do you think a little crooked hmm. improved upon it could be about as good as she's gonna get looks good so I think you have to do this <laughs> to get it back on because whew, that was insane I was trying to do it the other way around so let's see if we can get this back on Like it worked, it's a little scary. Now I gotta get this wires back in here. This one goes here. This one's gonna be a pain in the butt. Alright, so we got all the wires hooked up, but I gotta get the, <laughs> the screws back in there. <laughs> Alright, how many is there? Three. Alright, let's see if we can get to them from the front. Nice. I'm wondering, like, man, 
I gotta be able to put this thing <laughs> back together. put our big screws back in. So rough on that little cord. Alright, let's get these screws back in. So we figured out our lost screw situation. Looks like it's all going back together though. That front was pretty scary. <laughs> back in now we can pop the top back on back on real nice can't even tell I'm really lucky on that one can't even tell that was taken off goodness guys I don't know if it was just I have a different model or what but that thing did not want to go back together So most of it's back together. All right, let's get our side back together. Holy to moly, that was a lot of work. Okay, let's see. Oh, it goes like this. these two prongs go in these two holes to keep it in place. Kind of a neat little setup. 
So, <laughs> holy. Whew. Look it up, see if it works. All right, I'm gonna plug it back in, do a cold boot. See how long this takes. All of the video that you see in the corners are from the original Xbox One platter drive. And that's a cold boot. All right, let's try uh, Ori. See how long it takes to get to the load screen. So that took a while. I'm actually surprised. And let's try uh, Asphalt. Oh my gosh. Asphalt has like serious trouble. Like a really hard time trying to play Asphalt in here. It does not want to play on the Xbox One. It's weird, it's Asphalt 9, but let's see what happens. I mean, it runs so glitchy. Makes no sense. It's like an Android game. Might be like a internet thing, maybe. Maybe their servers weren't doing too good for the past week. Pretty stoked right now. It all worked out. And Destiny. Let's try a CD based game. significantly faster oh yeah all day that was way faster Let's see how long it takes to get to the 
sign in screen. This is a slow one. It takes forever to do anything. One of my favorite games, though. I love this game. That was not bad. Nope, that was not bad for this old machine. That was not bad. So, it looks like we absolutely did breathe some life back into this old machine. Pretty cool. <laughs> so, this should run faster now. It should load better. More, uh, you know, just a smoother game. I'm hoping it really helps with the load times because they're kind of bad. But I could kind of see why, though. It was a, a Seagate, like 5400 RPM or whatever. They're really slow drives. I was kind of surprised to see that in there. I thought it would have a Western Digital. Well, guys, now you know. You can clone your Xbox hard drive and have all your files and you don't have to download anything so pretty cool I think it might t I'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours just to load up anything that isn't loaded cuz you can tell it's working a little harder than usual it's definitely quicker on the load times pretty happy on this one guys this one sits in my living room well guys hope you like this one this one was tough taking it apart putting it back together the whole thing it was pretty tough but in the end, worth it 100%. So, hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. And as always, have a tech day.